Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the black backyard. And if we don't blow away, that'd be cool. If we don't get a microburst, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm going to try and remember to set my timer, yes. And I'm going to use my iPod case and my OXO omelette turning spatula, which is listed on my Amazon link under the Teespring, underneath the video. That's a little uh, fluid acrylic skin that came off of one of my... Uh, cottage cheese container lids from drip oh, runoff and uh, I could use that for jewelry at some point in time if I wanted to. So could you if you do this stuff. So like I said I'm going to use my iPod case and I'm going to make up some colors first I think. And I'm kind of looking for everything and anything I can get in here. And I want some bright colors but I also want some definition and some drama. I did shake you. Why are you doing that? I know why they did. I just made some more color and this is how you mix my, this is how I mix my colors. That's Floetrol in there by the way. <laughs> and that'll change in a second. And I left one of my tops on. I've decided I don't really care how I start and add my colors because I will always add more to them later. And sometimes the fuzziest combinations turn out to be the most interesting. And that's my theory and I'm sticking with it. Just because I think it might be fugly doesn't mean I shouldn't go for it. And I'm loving the colors I've, I'm seeing right there right now. Very much. i throw some yellow in there. I just want to stop and take a picture. There's my painting. I'm all done. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, unless I put white with the, um, the color shift from folk art, I will almost always get a burgundy. But in this case, I'm doing something different. I'm doing something that I haven't done for a very long time, or so I think at the moment. Assuming we don't get blown away. I'll throw some red in there. I did intend on just using every rainbow color. And I've got some white pearl. I'm going to throw that right down in there. Hopefully I can rescue my, uh, my neon purple. Alright, we've got everything I, I can think of in there. And my squeeze bottles are handy, so if I decide I want some more, you know what I'll do. I'll just get some more. Now the pink and the white is confusing to me because the pink just always seems to disappear. Looks like I might be doing more than one painting also, because I know I'll have more, more left. That's a nice, uh, that has a shimmery, that has golden iridescent. Ooh, that's full. Wow. Yeah, my, must be time to put my glasses on, I would say. So, let's move that over here and hopefully it's going to be level enough to keep it from being a problem. And I'm going to come back over here. I wanted to use a background that was of a color, but when I thought about it more, it didn't seem like it was going to be the answer. <sighs> Go away, whatever you do not. Things, everything is blowing right now. So we put white on the background, or whatever color you're going to use on the background, and spread it with my miraculous paint spreading spatula, which we all know about. Put my glasses on, silly woman. It's so much easier to see. And spread. Although it's a white canopy, so it's pretty bright under here, i got to say. Not less so with the glasses on. I thought I had the right amount of paint, but I'm wondering if maybe I could have used a little bit more. So back to the story at hand. So I haven't done for a long time, and I've been noticing a lot of people have been watching the dynamic circle with tendrils. So I thought it was time to do another one, a larger one, and maybe in an easier way. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's the way it goes. We'll see is pretty much the answer to anything and everything fluid art, uh, fluid acrylics, which started out as accidental art, and uh, I have somewhat taken advantage of my knowledge of what I've done in the last... Well, April will be... Two years? Oh my god, that's insane. 
Well, we've got almost 45,000 subscribers to my channel, even though it seems like there's a glitch in the system and not very many people are getting notified. So if you want to see my channel or my artwork, I post every single day a new video. Whether you see it or not, it's there on the playlist. So find the playlist and ring the bell just in case someday it begins to work again. Because it's not working right now, i got to say. Okay, I'm looking for... I think I'm just going to use one of my small scoops. I'd like to use a shovel. Oh, but I want to be able to keep some kind of ribbon. So. Rather than bring this over there, I'm just going to stick my scoop in and my hand under it. And attempt, and I do mean attempt, to make a circle. And I've got great colors, so I'm really happy about that. And I just want to leave the circle. <laughs> Isn't that the way it always goes? And maybe I can. Maybe I should just leave that circle and do what I've been thinking about doing. And lead some lead some ribbons right off the canvas. As long as I'm not making too much mud. It seems like it might be okay right now. It'd be nice if the canvas didn't blow away. So, it's not going to be exactly what I thought it was going to be. I got to kind of go with the flow. Whatever occurs to me is the best course of action for me at the moment. And I'm almost to a point where I could lift up. Container and bring it over here, but I'm not sure it's a great idea. This is just fun for me. I'm loving this. A lot of things do not turn out to be what you thought they might be to begin with, and that's not always a bad thing. In this case, I definitely don't think it's a bad thing. And it's going to be much more of a sun than a spiral. And dribbles are allowed. I've been like going to, going to bed thinking about this for a while. And it still didn't turn out to be what I was expecting, but that's okay, because I like it. It's neat. <laughs> oh, I got some amazing cells in my... Yeah, and I've got grips. Oh, well. This will make you flexible if nothing else ever has, I'm trying to do fluid art. pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with that at all. It just makes me want to keep ribboning though. Makes me want to go. The opposite direction. Let's see what happens with that. It's a because I can moment, which is by the way, oh boy, I better pay attention now. Which is by the way, the name of my book. I think I need one right here. Yep, that was necessary. And that was necessary. And I think I'm just going to keep right on going. Because this is fun! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go with the flow, pun intended! You gotta catch those drips. And I think I can spread those out with my skewer. I'm going to try and put them in a little bit evenly. Let's see what happens when I put the skewer in there.
Yeah, I think this is just going to be a very extreme combination of abstract expressionism and, uh, and fluid acrylic art because I'm loving all the stuff I see and I don't want to drag anything out to make it different than it is. That being said, there's always something that I'm going to do. <laughs> like make that circle. You know what? I think I want some yellow right in there. Psychedelic sun. Definitely. I guess I was ready. Just a few spirals here and there won't hurt my feelings any at all. Where's my little... So check, the, check the beautiful designs out in here. I'm thinking that maybe I should add some other brights, like maybe a little more pearl. And see, I'm just squeezing right in there. And that's one reason to keep the tops off of my bottles, because nothing dries up that fast. And as I put the uh, scoop in there, things will get mixed. I'm trying to catch it before it goes too far in. I'm going to keep putting my skewer in, the wide ones. Sort of letting, letting it go in sideways, and using the excess on the skewer to go right down over the edge, and then spiraling the top in. I'm not so sure about that. It might stay, it probably won't. Back to the shore at hand. Try and pick one that looks like it. Wants it. Let that check out anything else. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I like what happens when I spread them out. We could probably take a torch to this. I think I want something just simple, so I'm going to try and have a mostly empty scoopful. I did set my timer. We do have four minutes left. We have four minutes left before I have three minutes to tell you what I need to tell you, actually. Among that will be that I sell my artwork. And I'm just going to keep picking places that look like they want that extra that I'm adding now. Catching it on my finger, pulling it down somewhat, letting the extra go on the edge. I don't know if you can see all that, but you will in a minute when it comes back into your view. Kind of liking uh, the idea of putting my skewer down with paint all over it and seeing what happens, but I want to be careful but where I do that. Yep, that's not bothering me. That's pretty cool. This one's mostly red. That's that's different. It's got some other colors in there. So I can't really... What can't I really do? lost my train of thought when I saw the colors. Ooh, pretty! More things did not blow into the painting. I'll see you on the other side! <laughs> wow, have some wind. I'm just going to try and utilize what I've got in my scoop 
Well, I'm still here. It's a very abstract design. Not symmetrical. Not meant to be symmetrical anymore by any stretch of the imagination. Just went over and dipped my skewer into my pan of paint. Because I'm a paint stealer. And I've got all kinds of things I could do, like adding gold, and I haven't decided whether that's going to happen yet or not. Probably not. What else do I want in here? I want to keep going with what I started. In this case, I'm just going to use the scoop as the delivery tool. And if I apply it gently enough, I'll get some really nice marks in there. Move that right in there. See that little spot. I am looking, even though I don't have symmetry, I'm looking for some kind of balance in the design. You can see I've got interesting stuff right here. So I'm not trying to make anything the same. I've almost used up most of my colors, which means I might be almost done. <laughs> So I should tell you some more stuff before the card blows away again. I give art lessons at the house, at the studio. So if you live in the Spring Hill area or you're going to be visiting Florida uh, around Tampa, I am uh, always here. Pretty much always here. If you would, guys would give me a thumbs up, it's supposed to be very helpful to me. So if you appreciate my art or my processes or my efforts, anything at all. <laughs> I would love to have your thumbs up. I'm going to see what happens when I spiral out some of these. It's got one eye. <laughs> it might have some dots. Um, I feel like I need some, some more stuff over here. So I'm just going to keep working. Working and adding the skewer in. on the skewer to cover my edge down below. And it's almost Valentine's Day, so we could probably add a, little, add a few hearts or something. Make it even kitschier than it is already. Yeah, usually I would probably put a curve in my tendrils, but in this case, I think I'm just going to keep stealing paint. Until I'm so far into it. There we go. That I'm happy with what I get. So what else do I should I tell you? We have over 400 videos. I think I mentioned we had over 44,000 on our way to 45,000 subscribers. So thank you all to that. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting. If you do decide you'd like to contribute to keep the studio running, I would appreciate it. And uh, I, sh I show you my appreciation by uh, entering you into a contest where if your name is drawn, you will have an opportunity to pick one of three paintings. And I hope I'm not running out of time, but I probably am. Um, I just want the stuff I've got over the side, over the side where I want it. And I guess I can probably do that after you're gone if I have to. I'm working where you can't see me probably. Hopefully that's not a problem. Where else do I want any more tendrils? I don't know. I just love this abstract design. So I do sell my art and 